All right, so this is uh, Block Boy JB, or somebody I like to call Blockhead JB, because this nigga basically has one flow. The I talk like this flow. And also, he has the repeated fucking phrase, like, I just took a shit. I just took a shit. And then, you, of course, he has a little kick thing he does, which is getting very, very annoying. And then also, he doesn't really have a flow. So he repeat, peak, peats. Like he has that little stuttering repeat shit that he does. Like, duh, duh, duh. somebody, somebody um, told me that that's because this guy doesn't really have a flow. So to actually keep people's attention, sometimes they just skip and then like it. It's like he has Tourette's on the fucking beat or what you call a stutter on the damn beat, to tell you the truth. But yeah, here's his debut um fucking album, I guess, <clears throat> full of 18 tracks, which about six of them doesn't even top like two fucking minutes, to tell you the truth. So that's how, you know, stream trolling is absolutely real at this point. Come on, man. This could have been a easy 12 tracks maybe even 10 and i would have been like very very happy but yeah he blew up and he had a few mixtapes but he really blew up with um the song look alive with drake he decided to feature with him and of course he had the song shoot which was pretty big and also he had the song rover which i actually like rover because i love his like slow flow delivery it kind of remind me of 21 Savage until I heard the context of this whole album and realized this nigga only have one flow throughout the whole damn album. I'm like, Jesus Christ. But yeah, to tell you the truth, it was bad, man. So you have a song like Turn Up where he says that the 40 will scan you like a coupon i'm like really man that's the best you can talk about and near the one minute 40 second track he just stops rapping uh entirely and does this like background talking vocals which really gets very annoying and he did that uh on produced by um produced by jb song which i really don't really like but thank god it's not on this album and of course, he disses Little Flip, you know, of course. And he says that nobody in his neighborhood likes to use condoms. So I guess that's a uh, likes to even use protection or condoms. So I guess that's how he appeared in this earth. So Look Alive, of course, he has some of the most stupidest quotes like uh, blow you like a flute. He has a lot of references to blow. And I'm talking about blowing men, of course. What what I hope to be a gun, but then again, he has a reference to a dick. On the song Nice Swoop, he has a reference to a dick blowing everywhere. And of course, I know some uh, homo thugs will say that that's a reference to a gun. But here's the thing. He already name dropped a, a Glock, so why couldn't he just keep it like that? He just had to add the whole idea of a dick blowing everywhere but at least i mean i hope that it's consensual because of course he has references to niggas raping on the song none of that he has a reference to she didn't like you so you raped her some bullshit like that and i was like whoa man that's pretty disgusting that you would even bring that up i mean are, are you dry snitching I mean, it seems like he was dry snitching because he's not going to call out any fucking names, which is kind of ironic because on the song, on the song Straight Dope, he referenced how people have to stop dry snitching. So I'm wondering, uh, is that whole reference to she not liking you so you raped her like technically dry snitching or just uh, sneak dissing, dry snitching, sneak dissing, same same fucking concept. But yeah, uh, isn't that is isn't that like a whole thing? If I need to ask, like you know. Also on the song feature, he does reference to you beating that hoe. So I wonder is that a form of snitching, or at least sneak dissing, if I would like to say. So yeah. And am I the only one who finds it a little bit ironic that towards the bottom of the half of the album they have a song called feature which actually has no features 
like the bottom half of the album have no features so it's a little ironic to me that he would have that uh whole um a uh, title for a song also on the song mexico and also on the song outro he referenced pakistan i wonder uh if he's interested in going you know just referencing getting the connect from pakistan all types of shit oh yeah and by the way the whole thing about having a a song like mexico which of course is a total uh, knockoff. He steals a lot of ideas from the Amigos and Travis Scott, if you ask me. Travis Scott already had a song like uh, Mama Cita, and the Amigos already had a song about Latin America, like Narcos, all types of shit. They also already had a song about Asian chicks, or at least Asian culture, like um, the song uh, Stir Fry, um, what other stuff they had, shit. Quavo had a reference to whole uh, black and Chinese, all types of shit. So, yeah. And he even steals the Amigos flow on a track. On the track, no chorus, he steals the Amigos flow, the Amigos triplet flow. Now, I know that they didn't start it, but they were um, uh, mostly well known for that flow. So, I wanted to point that out also. Also, he makes this corny ass reference to Chris Brown's wall to wall which haven't been out in years. I'm like, damn. Oh, yeah, and on left to right, he referenced how he wanted to push a girl down the stairs. Like, ooh, what a gentleman. On the previous track, he referenced how he has bananas in his pocket. Also, he says he feel like king of the jungle, which is a little strange because bananas grow in a forest like not a fucking jungle i don't know if he even knows that but hey oh yeah he also referenced how he grew a beard and now he feels mature even though on the album he he um he's clean shaven and also after this he says something about musical chairs which is a fucking kid game you might as well made a duck duck goose reference but he is using the abc preschool flow so hey i'm not shocked that he would make a fucking preschool reference oh yeah and he said that um on mamacita he says rock and roll like heavy metal and i'm like dude you might as well just fucking said um jazz like blues like uh i know that he rock and roll kind of maybe was the precursor of heavy heavy metal but they're so removed that it doesn't even make any sense i mean it's like saying the chariot was the precursor to the damn car you know stuff like that oh yes and on the song good day he referenced hitting your bitch and she not fighting back but after a reference like rape that he made, I would be a little bit concerned that, you know, what he meant by she's not fighting back, to tell you the truth. Oh, yeah. And on the song Left Hand, as a left hander myself, I'm pretty proud that we're getting the shout out. But still, it seems that he's saying that he don't have a best friend. He has a left hand. Usually you have a right hand man. So I don't know what, what the fuck he meant by that. Oh, yeah, and before I go, he referenced blowing you like bad breath, and he also referenced the whole thing, like blowing you like a flute on the song Look Alive, just like to point that out. Oh, yeah, and on the song Wait, he referenced having a K like Kanye, which, you know, any, any Kanye reference after what he said about slavery offends me now, tell you the truth. Overall, you know, pretty damn crappy album, but I'm not going to grade it as harshly as I want it to because I know this is his first major project and he just got new fucking money. So I'm not going to grade it as harshly as I want it to. So I'm going to give it a, um, I would say a three, like, you know, but hey, that's just my opinion. Please like, subscribe, share this video. How did you feel about this uh, new jock, uh, Black Boy JB, or uh, what I like to call him, Blockhead JB album? Please write in the comment section. So yeah, this is the Flag YouTuber, and I guess I'm out. 
Oh, yeah. And shout out to the rap reviewer. He's pretty awesome. Peace out. Boop, boop.